Kiss. Put your hand. Kiss. Put your hand. Like that? Yeah. What is going on, Pom Pom Gang? It is Tutorial Tuesday. This is a wonderful Tuesday, this wonderful week. That's how I'm starting off all of my weeks at this point because 2020 has been giving me hell and I just refuse. I am reclaiming back my wonderful weeks. So this day on Tutorial Tuesday, we will be featuring my middle child, Kaylani. We are gonna be doing another flexi rod set on her glorious thick wavy hair. This time though, we will be doing a rod set using my favorite products of all time. We of course have done rod sets on Kehlani before. I'll leave those links down below in the description bar so you guys can check out those videos as well. So we are gonna go in using the Pretty Strands Moisture In Leave-In Conditioner, my favorite conditioner of all time. It comes in this nice, huge bottle and with four heads to do in my household, that is a must have when it comes to any conditioner. Then we're gonna go in with the Texture ID multi styling Foam, my favorite foam of all time. This foam is just so thick and luxurious. It's just soft and velvety. I love it. A lot of foams that I've purchased in the past, they can tend to be a little watery. I just don't feel like they give me what I'm looking for. The Texture ID never disappoints. I've used it on twist outs, braid outs, rod sets, perm rod sets. I absolutely love this stuff. I've even used it on Boo just to do a like scrunchy wash and go look on her when I don't feel like messing around with her hair too often. So when I apply Lonnie's hair to the rods, I make sure I smooth it over the rods. I don't do like a rope kind of twist. I try not to do that. I want this to be nice and smooth and defined once we remove her rods so she can have that nice spiral bouncy curl, like the cutest bouncy curls. And I love her rod sets. I love doing rod sets on her. The only downfall about these rod sets is they just don't they don't last long at all for some reason on her hair. I am lucky if I can get two days worth of decent <laughs> curls on her. She's a very active child, so sometimes it's just I have to, if I'm gonna do a style like this, I better get my pictures in right away. I better take all the pictures I can because this is a one and done style for Lonnie. So this video, I want to kind of show how I try to maintain these curls on Lonnie throughout the week with her going to daycare, going outside and playing. It's summertime, so she's doing a lot of sweating, a lot of running around. I'm gonna show you guys how I try to upkeep her hair so that her hair doesn't get too matted because sometimes these curls can cause her hair to tangle something ridiculous and it just causes a lot of pain for me and for her. So once we have installed all the rod sets into her hair, she will sit under the dryer for at least an hour and a half. We did this style late at night, so I didn't wanna push it too late in the night. So we did an hour and a half tonight and we'll do another hour and a half session under the dryer the next morning because I know her hair is just not going to be dry from that one hour and a half and then of course the temperature on the dryer is only set to low because I don't want to cause any heat damage then the next day I will go in to unravel all of the rod sets and just look at that spiral juicy bouncy curl it is just oh it's so adorable so stinking cute so removing her rods, I just kind of go in a counter clockwise or whatever the opposite direction the curl is going. I just go in that direction to remove the rod from her hair. And usually I have no issues with it removing. That's like the easiest part. Putting them in was definitely a lot harder. And then once we do that, I'm gonna go in and separate her curls using the Pretty Strands hair oil, my favorite hair oil. This hair oil has a whole, a lot, a lot of hard hitting oils in this little bottle and I use it on all of my girls, including myself, and I absolutely love it. I use it on their scalp to seal in moisture on their ends. This hair oil definitely does not disappoint, and this little bottle definitely goes a long way. I'm not even halfway through the bottle, and I just said I have four heads, so I have to use this on, and I've had this bottle for at least two months now. So once um, we have the hair oil in, I go in and finger rake my hands through 
per coil curls through each section of the rod set and that's just how I add that volume to her hair and as you can see the definition honey oh my gosh I love these rod sets on her absolutely gorgeous so once that's all I'm going to do I'm not going to use anything other than my fingers to separate her curls and that's just to add the volume then I'll go in with a wide tooth comb just to kind of zhuzh up her scalp just to kind of help with the hiding the parts from where we parted her hair to add the flexi rods and that is it I will add a cute bow slay them edges for her and she is done I mean, just it's, it seems so simple, but this style just doesn't last as long as I would like it to with her wavy tresses. Oh, and she loves her curly hair. She absolutely loves it when I do a rod set on her. Although it's just so time consuming to try to do, she still just loves the outcome of it. And I just love doing them on her. And just look at her. She just looks like a little Asian Shirley Temple, doesn't she? The cutest little thing. <laughs> so like I'm going in right now, just judging up her skin up a little bit and also my hair my hand still has the hair oil on there and that's also massaging her scalp applying that hair oil to her scalp as well and she is good to go she's a little cutie yes yes go Lonnie All right, so this is day one hair. This is the end of day one hair. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, y'all? Like, look how tangled and, oh, it's just, uh, it's, it's all right, it's all right. We gonna, we gonna still make this work. We gonna make this work. So I'm removing her bow and I'm gonna go in with a detangling brush and I'm gonna section off small pieces. I think I ended up just going with the, um, the parts where the rod set used to be and I'm just going to detangle each little section so we can prepare her hair to go to bed this is at the end of the night she has done all the running around and playing out in the hot sun today and luckily I got all of the pictures that I needed because this is yeah this is what I mean when I say this style just doesn't last long on her her hair just I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's the products that I'm using. I still haven't found any products that'll do any different than what I'm looking for. Maybe I'm applying too much products because maybe the, I, I don't know. Well, I'm still figuring it out. I am, I'm not gonna say that I'm a professional and I'm perfect at this. I am still trying to figure out how to do the perfect rod set on Lonnie, but those curls were just so gorgeous, weren't they? So right here, I'm just detangling her hair and then once I detangle it completely, I'm going to put her hair into Bantu knots and that is how we will try to a protective style her rod set so that we can reserve those juicy curls for the next day now of course they won't be as spiraled and defined and juicy as first day hair but she will still have some sort of curl to her hair for at least the week now that she will be able to hold on to that until her next wash day and um yeah this is <sighs> that was three hours of work that just doesn't it doesn't last it doesn't last long at all so it's all good we, we I was this was to be expected when styling Lonnie's hair so like I said this we're just protective styling her hair for the night she'll go to sleep with a bonnet and then I'm going to show you what her curls will look like on day three of her hair being styled
the two big bantu knots and this is her shed hair from the brush after detangling all that and which was very very light it wasn't a whole lot of hair at all um so yeah successful detangling session we didn't pull out her for hair that's that's how i look at it and <laughs> she is ready for bed so like i said i'm gonna show you guys day three hair so this is the next day after we take her bantu knot she's ready to get ready to go to daycare hey baby and we just i just remove the rubber band and take it loose and once again i will finger rake through her curls to give them a nice volume and as you can see of course she no longer has the spiraledness she still has a curl which still looks very good on her i am not upset at that at all she will look good with anything in her hair but this is what her hair is after the bantu knots and this is day three hair i'll probably allow her to wear this style probably for at least day five and then we'll go ahead and do a wash day and restyle her hair to something simple i guess because i ain't doing another three hour session of this <laughs> So that is pretty much it. She's good to go. We add a cute bow to style it. If not, she'll just walk out the door just like this. Her hair has grown so much. I'm just like amazed at how fast it has grown since last year when we first started doing our hair tutorials for her wavy, gorgeous tresses. But thank you again, guys, for joining us on another Tutorial Tuesday. We hope to see you back next Tuesday for another tutorial on some natural hair care, whether it be me, my girls or my husband because he has also decided to join the curly gang i will see y'all guys next week thank you for joining us please everyone be safe be blessed bye